morning South Africa, good morning to the Shield car community at large. Today we're going to take you through our premium car care shampoo range which comprises of our Decon shampoo and we also have a uh, snow foam shampoo, it comes in a 1 litre and also goes in a 3 litre. So we've got this beautiful red VW GTI in the back of me. We're going to be using our Decon shampoo on here. What this is going to enable us to do is to prepare that surface so it's going to strip off all the wax, all the sealant, all the buildup on the surface. Um, so let's get into foaming. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so this is our Decon shampoo which we're going to be pouring into the bucket. So for the bucket, the dilution ratio is going to be different than what you would have your dilution ratio if you were to put it into a small foam cannon. So for your bucket, for every bucket you have 20 moles to every 5 litre bucket. This is obviously a bigger bucket so I'm going to give it a bit. This is now going to go into your snow foam cannon. So your dilution ratio here is 1 in 10. So you have 900 moles full in the bottle already. I'm just going to fill it up from the top now. The solution is in there, just gave it a bit of a mix and obviously the cannon is going to screw right on there. So this is basically going to now go onto the vehicle, it's going to assist us with preparing its surface, removing all the wax and the sealant and the buildup from previous work that you might have done or applications that you've had on your paint and we're going to do that with your uh, snow foam cannon and apply the foam. Obviously it's not going to have the same effect that your snow foam would have lot more suds, it's going to give you a lot more foam. This is not going to give you all that foam, but it's going to remove all that uh, dirt and grime. So we've taken you through the application of the Decon Shampoo. You've seen the power and the strength that it has in the vehicle. So this is not something that you're going to be using a majority of the time. You're going to be using your maintenance wash would be your snow foam, but this is, you know, for your detailers, every three to six months, if you feel like you want to strip the contaminants, the wax, the sealant, the build up, and then you just use a sealant afterwards again, there's the shampoo to go to. But for this one, after the application, you just let it uh, drip for a few minutes, sit, remove all the contaminants, and then you're just going to blast off all the grease and grime and you move over to your snow foam shampoo, which is more maintenance wash. Okay, so this is the highlight. This is a follow-up from the Decon, which we've now stripped off all the contaminants um, from, from the vehicle behind me. We're going to be adding the snow foam. The dilution ratio here is also simple, as I explained earlier with Decon shampoo. If you're going to be using it into a bucket, it's going to be 20 moles per 5 litre. If it's a 10 litre bucket, you just obviously add on to that. But for your bottle here, it's 1, one, one in 10. So you've got your 900 already mixed there. We're just going to literally top up and then what you're going to do is just shake it to get it mixed evenly on there and then we're going to attach the snow foam cannon's head and we're going to use this in the pressure washer. So now we're going to get into um, the bucket wash system. So we're going to use the shampoo in the bucket, but we're going to introduce to you a new addition to the Shield family, which is our Ultra Plush Wash Mitt. This is, you can see the fibers in here, very strong. You start off with very easy to, to application. You put your hand in, and it's a solid grip on the inside. But first, as with anything, it comes with a little tag like this here. I would suggest taking it off first, and you'll find that there's a little plastic, little nip here, you know, those little T's. I don't know if the camera can zoom all the way in there, but we just get in there and we cut that eye off because if you don't, it's going to scratch your car. Okay, so for as with anything, we're going to be using the wash mitt here. 
but for any avid car detail or anybody that has an interest in protecting the paintwork you need to have a wash and a rinse system and if you see just to the side of me here you have a wash bucket and this is a grit on the inside which will then trap all your dirt at the bottom so this goes into your bucket and after washing here you then go over to your rinse bucket so that dirt transfer doesn't come back onto your vehicle it stays in the bucket that you have rinsed ensuring that your mud stays free from obstacles that is obviously going to um, attach itself to your paint and scratch your paint this will trap all your dirt with these long fibers and also you'll see it's got a very easy um, motion for you to have your in the glove instead of your hand sliding out it's got the center where your fingers pinch together Just to, uh, just to engage you again as to what I had mentioned earlier with the wash and rinse system, these are the buckets here. But you see, every time you engage, I go on with the shampoo now, I'm gonna wash the panel. As soon as I come, whatever dirt I have lifted from that surface, I now put this into the rinse bucket. Make sure that all the contaminants is off from the mud before I transfer it back into the wash system. Okay, so we've done with uh, the snow foam uh, shampoo at the back here. You see the cars now sprayed off, it's clean, uh, it's, it's ready to get dried. Our go-to is our large drying towel. You'll see this one here comes packaged as this. This is a super size, it comes in a plastic sleeve. And as you open it up, you'll see that this is, can cover quite a large surface. But the first thing to do with anything, with any cloth that you get, is this little label yes it's nice it's got sure brand logo on it but pull that off because this will damage your paint you'll see that you have two surfaces the one is a bit more thick but the other one here is your fibers that will actually collect the water from the surface This is your Shield Premium Super Soft Towel and this is what we said we had the application of our sealant now. We're going to take the cloth, the very same as I have educated you guys earlier. Always look for the tag, make sure the tag is off because that could potentially, not potentially, that would scratch your paint. So on this microfiber you have two surfaces. The one surface, if you turn it on the other side you'll see that surface that's basically a bit more to get your um, to get your polish shined up, it's more abrasive. And then if you flip it around, this is gonna be the side that we're gonna be using with your microfibers, a bit more softer, a bit more dense, to give you that ultimate shine. So I'm gonna flip it over now, start off the surface where we just apply the polish. come to this end of the segment of our shield detailing um, just to recap we've gone through a few of our shampoo ranges in our, sh in our basket of shampoos we've introduced you today to the decontamination shampoo which strips off all your contaminants from your paintwork then preparing it so that we can move on to your maintenance wash in the snow foam you've also have illustration on video of this this comes in a one liter it's also packaged in a three liter available in mass retail we've also then introduced you guys to our ultra plush wash mitt which is also available mass retail and then afterwards the large drying towel something new to our stable is this plush uh, microfiber premium soft towel which we've used on the vehicle behind me to shine it up after we have applied the poly sealant so this is something that's new to the market look out for it it's all mass retail everywhere available in South Africa. Okay, something exciting for our next segment coming up under shield detailing. We're gonna be focused on our clay bar kit. We've also the clay bar, we've also got a clay bar towel for periods of between three to six months contamination on a vehicle. But for your more stubborn dirt to be removed from your paintwork, this is the one. 
and that obviously goes paired with our SP7 which adds the lubrication for this if you don't use soap scrub. And to end off today's edition we just want to send a shout out to Randall Plake, he's from Clean Culture for allowing us time at his facility and also taking us through certain processes. Thank you for tuning in and watching another edition of Shield Detailing and um, we look forward to engaging you with our next session. For any other questions or queries that you might have regarding detailing or Shield products please hit us with the links below, like, subscribe and um, we look forward to interacting with you guys.